So the last video, we talked about the concept of cutting with the grain. Uh, that's an important concept. Another important concept is bevel support. And so today that's what we're gonna discuss. Uh, sometimes people talk about rubbing the bevel. You'll hear the terms riding the bevel. You'll hear bevel support. Uh, you'll hear floating the bevel, the bevel. And so those are all just different terms for really uh, wood turners trying to explain the same thing. So this would be rubbing the, the heel of the bevel, not cutting. This would be rubbing even more of the bevel. This would be rubbing the bevel and probably not cutting. Okay, that's not cutting. And then if I slightly pick this up, now I'm gonna start cutting and I've got bevel support. Right in here, I'm rubbing the bevel. Now if I pick this up, I'm gonna cut more aggressive, more aggressive. Now I'm getting into a really aggressive cut that is not supported by any bevel. And if I come up, like here, I'm really, I mean, that is, that would, you can see what angle that's going to try to cut into the wood, and that's not going to give you a good cut. Now, if you come up to a certain point, right, now this, that cutting edge, is going to be scraping across the wood, which we will show that. There are tools uh, designed for that, and sometimes, a lot of times, that's what people are actually doing. They think they're cutting the wood, but they're scraping, and we'll show that. Now, you could turn this tool around, Instead of rubbing the bevel this way, we could go this way. So I'm rubbing the, the heel of the bevel down here. No cut, no cut, no cut. And now I'm flat, so I'm probably still not cutting. Okay? Now if I pick this up slightly, now I'm going to start cutting. If I don't rub the bevel, if I just jam this in, it does remove material. Okay? That's a an aggressive cut that removes material. Let's look at, the, look at it. There it is, okay. So you can see, if you just jam it in, that's a scraping cut that's coming in. The bevel's not rubbing below, okay. Now if I turn around and do this by rubbing the bevel, come in here. I'm rubbing the bevel. Now I've got bevel support, and I'm coming through here. This is some really junky wood, but it's free. You hear I'm rubbing, not cutting. I can just make the tool more aggressive with the tool handle. So I'm rubbing here, not cutting. See, I'm not cutting at all, so I need to pick the tool handle towards the cutting edge you get it just to start cut, and you can control all that with your tool handle. So if I want to make a deeper cut, I would pick it up even more. If I want to make a shallower cut, you would just pull the tool handle towards you there. Now let's look and see what kind of cut this is. And now you can see. I mean, it was like this before, and now it's very smooth. Place the tool, pull on the tool rest first. Always do that. <clears throat> And then we're gonna bring this tool up. We're rubbing the bevel. You can hear it. This is not even round yet, so you can hear it rubbing the bevel. Let's see if I can turn it this way so maybe you can see the bevel better. But it's rubbing the bevel. I'm gonna pull this up until it starts cutting. There it is, it's starting to cut. Now, you can see, it doesn't matter if I tool, turn this tool. It's the same bevel. Now, if I pick this up as a scraping cut, that's a scraping cut, okay? So the bevel, the bevel's not touching the wood at all. So that's a scraping cut. So I want to rub, hear it, rubbing, not cutting. The edge is not touching the wood yet. Pick your handle up slowly until it starts cutting. That's where you want to be. Now you have bevel support and you can control that, okay? You get these nice peeling shavings coming off. I should say this is a spindle roughing gouge. You do not need one this big. Uh, I just got it cheap years ago before Hurricane Tools got popular. Small ones work just as good. I'm scraping. It's 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 not. 
cutting the wood great. And then if I rub the bevel, now I get these nicer slices off, okay? And I'm gonna always tell you to turn the lathe off and spin it if you can, or get someone else to spin it so you can see what's going on. Because then if I come change the cutting angle, you can see these nice curls come on. We'll talk about that with all of the different tools, but I'm still rubbing the bevel back here, but I've just changed the cutting angle. So instead of approaching it at 90 degrees, I'm approaching it at 45 degrees. If I scrape, you can see what kind of shavings I get, and it's gonna dull your tool, okay? That's a scraping cut. That's what a lot of people do. If I'm not rubbing the bevel, that's a really aggressive cut. You see how that tears out? And then if I rub the bevel, I can get up here to our new wood. If I rub the bevel, it's a much more controlled peel cut, okay? <clears throat> Let me show you that. So I'm gonna come in here, tool on the tool rest, and then bring it up. I failed to mention this is a skew chisel that I'm using right here. I'm rubbing the bevel here, nice little peel cuts here. See that? This is a peel cut. This is not a slicing cut, but it's a concept of rubbing the bevel. Not cutting, rubbing, rubbing, picking up my tool handle slightly. Now I can really bring that in. And you can really get aggressive with that. So I'm gonna show, show a parting tool here. And a parting tool, you're, this is the bevel you're gonna ride. And as we come in, that the uh, this is gonna get uh, less, uh, less of a diameter. The diameter is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So you're going to chase that and keep riding the bevel all the way in to the center. So it's all it's going to be an in motion like this, but you're going to be chasing, uh, rubbing this on what you just cut. Okay. So I'm rubbing the bevel, and I'm still chasing that all the way down. See that all the way down. Rubbing all the way down. So right there, see how I'm just rubbing the bevel? Rubbing, not cutting, we'll pick the handle up just slightly and it starts cutting all the way in. Okay, right like that. And here's a different parting tool, beading parting tool. I use it just for parting, it's wider. Same thing, there's the bevel, not cutting. I'm rubbing, not cutting. Pick it up until it starts cutting, and then I'm going to chase that all the way in. All the way in, see? See right there, I'm still rubbing, right there. So I'm chasing that bevel all the way in. Here's a different parting tool. This one, you don't have to have this bevel here, but I just did it so it's easier to sharpen. But I'm up here, just pressing against the tool rest. And there you go. Grabbing the bevel. You can see that on the bevel. And I'm just going to chase that in. Okay? Just like that. 40 40 grind bowl gouge. And I'm going to show you how, I'm going to show you how you can use the wing here if you want. But we can come in with this. And there's no bevel right here to, to rub yet until you get this established. Now I've got that little lip right there I can rub. And I'm gonna take that, now look, I'm rubbing right behind. Right behind, you can see that, right there where my finger is, I'm rubbing. And I can chase that all the way in. There I'm cutting in grain rubbing the bevel, okay? Just like that. Now I can take this wing, I can take this wing and rub it this way, because it's a side grain. So you can make a tenon like that if you want with a 40-40 grind. I mean, that really comes in. Like that. 
Okay, let's try to show this. So if we have our, our bowl blank, let's just say it's like this, okay? And let's say we want to come in here and make this shape. Probably an ugly shape, but just wanted to show the point here. So <clears throat> we're gonna take our tool, our gouge, and our bevel, we're gonna start right here and ride the bevel right there and then cut in and have support. And then we're gonna chase that. So our bevel's going to be following this contour. So you're always gonna have to be turning the tool handle to get that bevel support. So it's gonna be supported on what you just cut. So as you cut this, that the back of the tool, I can show that, is gonna be writing on what you just previously cut. And so you're constantly gonna to have to be adjusting that tool handle accordingly to get bevel support the whole way, okay? So if I take this tool, I'm gonna to come in here, I'm gonna be rubbing the bevel flat on that surface. Remember, this black line is the existing wood and the dotted line is what we're gonna make the shape into. So we're gonna be removing all of this wood here. So I'm gonna be riding the bevel, I'm gonna lift the handle up slightly so that the cutting edge starts. And then I'm gonna to have to see if I wanna make that shape, I'm really gonna to have to turn that handle to get that bevel in parallel with where I wanna cut. And then I'm coming through here, I'm gonna to have to lower the handle, follow this contour. Now right here, I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna to have to bring that, see how I'm moving that. I'm gonna to have to bring that where the bevel's parallel with where I wanna cut. I'm riding the bevel all the way through here. This is a normal bowl gouge with swept back wings. You can see the tip is riding the bevel and the side is peeling the excess. Does it matter if I take the gouge and open it, open it up a little bit or I close it? I'm still riding on that bevel. To show you, see I can, I can close it and it's still riding the bevel or I can open it. This is a 40-40 grind bowl gouge and I am riding the bevel on the tip and the side wing may not be riding the bevel but it is cutting side grain and you really don't care if it's a smooth finish. It's the tip that you're worried about here. I'll be honest, whenever I started wood turning, I did not have YouTube and I read a lot of books and I uh, read magazine articles. And for some reason I struggle with this concept of bevel support or rubbing the bevel, riding the bevel. I just, I just didn't understand it, especially with bowls, uh, spindle work. I think I got it, you know, a little bit, but, uh, I struggle with it. So, uh, with YouTube now, you can watch videos and you can see people and you can really kind of see what's going on. So if you're struggling with this concept of rubbing the bevel, uh, you're not the only one that ever has. And I know that you'll be able to figure it out. So just uh, give it some time. And like one of my subscribers, uh, Space Saver Bob, uh, he said in one of his comments, he's been turning for 30 years and he still considers himself a pretty good beginning wood turner. And you know, I've been turning for, you know, 12 to 15 years and that's what I feel like. I'm a pretty good uh, beginner. Um, but you know, I've noticed that I can get out of practice. So if I turn every day for, you know, three or four days, I get a lot better than if I don't turn for two months. So if I set it down for two months and I don't turn anything, then I come back out and turn while well, I'm out of practice. And it takes me a little bit just to get back in practice. And I, you know, you're gonna be the same way. So more practice, you're gonna get better with it. Please like and subscribe to Woodworking McDaniel Style.